Let's talk about the law of the meter. The law of the meter is a design rule that tries to help you to reduce coupling in your systems. Remember, object orientation 101, coupling is bad, cohesion is good. Cohesion is how much certain pieces belong together and how much they make sense. Coupling is how much you're intertwingling, intermingling, coupling two pieces to each other and making them difficult to separate from each other. So again, coupling bad, cohesion good. The law of the meter is a design principle <clears throat> that tries to help you minimize coupling in your systems. So what does the law of the meter say? The law of the meter says that it's okay to talk to A, it's okay to call A.B, but it's not okay to call A.B.C. So what do we mean with all these random letters, right? Assume you're in a method, then in the method, it's okay to access something that's in your scope, i.e. A. And also, it's okay to access a public member on A. So it's okay to call B on A, right? In the context you're in, it's okay to take A and then call a method on it, B. Or more generally, access something on it, i.e. B. But the law of the meter says that, that it's okay to go that far, but not further. So you can't take A, call B on it, and then call C on B. The reason for this, again, is to reduce coupling. Because what you are doing is that you are coupling to the fact that A has B and that B has C. So you are coupling to the whole chain instead of just coupling to a or just coupling to B. But this is of course getting super confusing with all the letters. So let's talk about an actual example. So consider this super silly example. Let's say you have the ocean. So we have a class that is ocean. In the ocean we have fish. So we have a class that's fish. And in uh, the ocean we put fish. So in some sense the ocean is a collection of fish. Assume then that fish, the class fish, has a method that returns a boolean that is true or false dependent on whether the fish is hungry or not. So let's call that method is hungry. Assume now that whoever has access to the ocean, let's say the program, right? Let's think about the hierarchy again. The program has access to the ocean. The ocean has access to a bunch of fish instances and each fish has a, mem a, a method that returns a boolean is called is hungry and determines whether the fish is hungry that particular fish is hungry or not assume that that the requirement is this assume that what we want is that we want <clears throat> from the program's perspective to gather out all of the fishes that are actually hungry so more concretely what we want to do is that we want to access the ocean we want to access the collection of fishes and then we want to filter out all of the fishes that are hungry so how would we do that? Without thinking about the law of the meter, what we would probably do is that we would say, okay, ocean, let's say we have an instance of ocean. We say ocean dot fish, right? In plural, as in fishes, right? And we get a collection of the fish. And then maybe we would use a filter function, right? We would run filter on the fish and then give it a function that we use as a filter. And this filter would call as hungry on each of the fish. That would, in essence, give us only the fish that are hungry. What's the problem? The problem then is that we are breaking the law of the, the meter. Or actually, it could be called the Demeter. I'm not actually sure what the wording is, but who cares? So let's generalize back to letters. The ocean is A. The fish is B. And is hungry is C. So essentially, what we're doing when we're performing this filter is that we're calling C on B on A. But with some slight nuances because we're doing collections and we're doing filters, etc. And that's it. So the law of Demeter says, don't do that. Instead, we should create some kind of facade, some kind of adapter that delegates from B to C. We should create a method in B that does the thing that does the thing correspondingly to why we want to call C. So in this particular case, what should we do instead? In this particular scenario, the idea is that we should take 
the ocean, in other words, A, and instead of grabbing out, instead of extracting the collection of fish, we could just say, get all hungry fish, or something like this, right? Or just hungry fish, get all hungry fish. In other words, when we have the ocean, we have one method that we call, and that method itself is responsible for determining which fish are hungry and which fish are not hungry, and then returning those, right? So instead of B in the program, calling A, and then calling B, and then calling C, we're simply calling B on A. And in, in this case, B were not the fish, but the method get all hungry fish. <clears throat> so that's it. Let's wrap this up. Remember, coupling the design of one object to the design of another object is a bad idea. Coupling one object to the design of another object, which will give you another object, is even a worse idea. So coupling to chains is even a worse idea than just coupling between two objects. And to identify such coupling chains, we use the law of Demeter to realize that we have such a coupling chain. And essentially the way we get rid of them is simply by creating, or usually by, creating a method that uh, delegates to the thing that we want to call instead of exposing the actual thing that we want to call. Which generally, if you think about it, is a very good idea because of information hiding. We're hiding the details of something that the outside should not necessarily have to be caring about. So that's it, I'll stop rambling now. The law of Demeter, it's okay to say A, it's okay to say A dot B, but it's not okay to say A dot B dot C. If you have questions or angry comments, please shoot them in the comments and I would love to discuss with you. Beyond that, be sure to subscribe because there's more of this coming always. Let's talk about programming.